Big Run Production. What's poppin', y'all? This is your big homie MC. Yo, y'all, y'all. Hey, 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 wait. Y'all already know who the fuck this is, man. <laughs> Y'all already know who the fuck this is, man. And if you don't know who the fuck I am, you probably ain't even click on this link already. I'm Catboy motherfucker Hurt. This is my boy Big Ron Ski, man. We in this bitch. No teal, no filter TV. And I just want to say that a lot of you niggas can suck my... Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, big homie? I was just about to let you niggas let know some shit, man. Hey, you know what? I'm glad he is sitting on this side now. You know, usually the guests sit on this side. Right. I'm feeling like the guest now. It's kind of we for the interview, Big Roski. No, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of windy out here, so I'm hoping that it's all good. But yeah, this your big homie man on location, man, with the man Catboy Hurt. Y'all see this, Mr. Turn Up? You know what I'm saying? The battle rap bully. If y'all ever get into the get into the ring with him, y'all already know you're gonna get pushed around a little bit. A little bit, you know what I'm bit. saying? <laughs> and you don't know that. Not that he mentioned the ring, though. I just want to take this time out to say this: half of you niggas are bland as shit boring as fuck and don't nobody give a fuck when you up there rapping let alone when you drop the link i done seen so many of you niggas that don't even realize y'all cigarette break rappers <laughs> the motherfuckers say cigarette break rappers because you know weed is pretty much illegal or illegal in wisconsin but nobody really gives a fuck you niggas be smoke break rappers <laughs> and that be dead ass like you if it was only about what you say we could watch it on the radio and that sounds stupid, right? Watch it on the radio. Yeah. But this is fucking visual. Like, give me something. <laughs> something. I'll be so tired of niggas. And I don't be up there dancing and bill collecting, but you ain't gonna never catch me standing there rapping. Like, what is the fuck? You niggas are doing poetry slams now. <laughs> and then y'all wonder why your stock goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody's telling niggas to be a gimmick rapper. Nobody's saying, oh, come dress up like the joker no no offense to the funeral god or whatever the fuck his name is you know what i mean but nobody's telling you niggas to do this shit so why like so now you can't say i don't give you game before i shit on your whole entire life get up there and do something fam like give me something to want to fucking watch i don't want to sit here looking at niggas talking in each other's face all day and half y'all breath be stinking. And it's like, what you drink, a pot of coffee for you got to this month? Like, cut it out, boss. Like, nobody want to hear that shit. Like, your bars cannot be mediocre and your performance as well. Like, there's only so many words in the human language that you can dictate how you going to shoot a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, we got to do something to set us apart from the rest of these niggas. Milwaukee has had so many motherfuckers come through here that even was from here and could have been something, but didn't. Because, well, hello, Milwaukee doesn't support us. That's just a fact. Milwaukee don't like Milwaukee niggas. <laughs> if you battling somebody from St. Louis, them niggas gonna be from St. Louis. Wow. You battling a nigga from Chicago, them niggas gonna be Chicago. There are very few niggas that have local support. Although I am one of them people, because a lot of motherfuckers that come to Milwaukee battles be like, dog, I fuck with you. When you getting back in the ring? <laughs> or I only came here because you battling. You wouldn't believe how many times I done fucking heard that shit, you know what I mean? And people just be... You can't force a motherfucker to fuck with you on the same face. Like, yeah. and, and they gotta gravitate towards you from jump. Like, if a motherfucker see you nice and they see you doing your thing, they gonna fuck with you. You can fuck up your next 10 battles, but one great performance and they gonna forget all of that shit. Yeah. They're going to forget all of that shit. So if a motherfucker ain't got you ain't got it, put it like that, then maybe you need to find a different line of work because I'm tired of hearing battle rap in the word career and you're not getting paid. <laughs> like, you can't use the word career for something you're not getting paid for. What the fuck is I, I, Or unless I'm wrong about the definition of career, shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers can't, if I'm wrong, me homie, you can't call yourself a career you ain't getting paid for, dog. Yeah, like, yeah. What the fuck is, I mean, but yeah, that's just a word of advice, man. Step y'all fucking performances. Okay, well, while he actually take his smoke break, let me just go on in and, uh, 
<laughs> let, me, let me chime in for a second. Um, yeah, I definitely concur with what the big homie just said because you, you are definitely as good as your last performance. So don't think that, you know, when you come in and everything is like, okay, you know what, I ain't really worried about this guy, so I'm just going to do anything. Whether that guy whack or not, if he toasts you, he toasts you. If you choke, you choke. If you rap, you rap. If you don't, you don't. What's going to end up happening is you're going to be judged by your very last performance. Remember that. Just remember that. I don't care how cold you was before that, but your very last performance, you're going to be judged on. So be, be very mindful of that when y'all step in the ring with somebody. And that's only if you're not already established, which we pretty much ain't. Like I don't 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 get me wrong. Like if you ask anybody we travel with, every event I go to, some URL niggas like you know I watch your work. I fuck with you, such as Big T. Mm -hmm. Big T been trying to get them to book me to battle him for the longest. Not saying that I wouldn't battle Big T, just me personally, I don't have the money to give nobody nothing. Nah, I'm I do, but right. you'd be a damn fool to be spending that much money to not see a return on it. Yeah, to yeah, me, for sure, for sure. like I I don't see mm -hmm. no. The only way I can see a return from something like a Big T battle is if I booked it myself oh, okay. and through my own event, which I could. Okay. But I'm a part of a team, so well, I really don't feel the need to. Okay, just real quick then. Um, I was told something about a two-on-two -two with uh, you and Hunter K battling uh, Mike G and uh, um, Of course, uh, on Mike G's blog, he said he wasn't going to do it because he'd rather just burn both of y'all you know, one by one. I mean, what do you say to that? Would you have done a two-on-two -two with them? Now, when I, um, now that you mentioned that, I did hear, uh, like, through, through a few motherfuckers that was trying to book it or whatever, about doing a two on two with Hoodlum. And now that you said, I guess it's Mike D. I don't know who Mike D is at the moment. So. Okay. The fact that he's blogging about me, and I don't even know him. He'd rather just give a couple dollars. You can get whatever you want. <laughs> you ain't going to kill me, but you can get a battle. And that's what I always say, like, um, I wouldn't give a fuck about who it is. I don't care who it is, they can die. <laughs> like, I just more recently discovered who Hoodlum was, but, and uh, I still don't even think I really seen a Hoodlum, Hoodlum battle yet. And that's not a, it's not a shot at Hoodlum. I'm not saying like, oh, who the fuck is you? Like, but Mike G, who the fuck is you? <laughs> Dead ass, but I don't know, like, I, I don't really, get to catch up with battle rap as much as I normally used to because right, I right. travel a lot more now but right right I um uh, honestly I've never even heard of Mike G I don't think mm. that I can recollect but Hoodlum never really watched his work yet and that's just for a lot of URL KOTD a lot of battles I just haven't watched recently okay. so it's not just like I'm just shitting on the local homies or something right, right, right. I just so. I battle anybody that's my philosophy but at this present point in time, it doesn't behoove me to stop doing what I'm doing right now. Like, okay. okay. Like it, but a couple dollars will change anybody's mind. <laughs> I guess, that's I guess, real I guess shit. You, I, mean, I guess but, you're right about that. But yeah, as far as a two on two, you can't, they not even establish themselves to be turning down battles. Well, so for future references, before niggas film a vlog and talk about you'd rather kill each of us individually, first of all, you not gonna kill either one of us, but I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> I'm de I've never even seen you work, and I can honestly, positively say that nobody has ever in their life just killed me, period. Period. I mean, you still here. I mean, hey, ain't no dirt well, over Right, you, so. right, right. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, ain't nobody gonna fucking kill me anyway, but nobody has. Like, even if you might feel like you won or you might feel like they won, they did not kill me and they're not going to. Right. I well, don't die. I'm, I'm immortal. <laughs> I like that. Well, you know what? I can't vouch for both of the brothers, man. Hoodlum is hot. Um, he definitely got You bars. know what's crazy? I've, I've heard about Hoodlum, though. I, yeah, never, he, I just haven't seen him. Yeah, I've heard his mix of Though. Yeah, but I'm guessing like the mixed reviews always gonna come in from somebody that's either getting ready to battle you, gonna be like you trash, and then the people that know you are gonna be like you dope. Right. And then you get the unbiased opinion from people like you that don't, you know, you right. know him, you know the brother, you ain't grow up with him, you don't got no reason to lie for him. Right. So you, if you say he decent or he good, like yeah, I mean, then I mean you got the stamp. Like, for sure, man. So yeah. now, I'm, now I'm gonna go definitely. home and check you out. Yeah, most definitely, man. man. And I, I actually. <laughs> I, I actually um I actually recorded um oh, I'm good. I actually recorded um um Mike G's and that was his very first battle with Scotty Lyrical. I don't know if you're familiar with Scotty Lyrical either. 
Uh, he, I'm familiar with the face, and, and I see him talking all the time. I haven't seen any of his battles yet. Okay, well, that was a good uh, I just seen, uh, I just noticed that he, he was a longtime friend. Uh-uh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> Yeah. I fuck with her. That's my people. Like, oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's a show. Loyalty, Luscious, she, 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 that's, she. That's my nigga, man. Yeah, oh, she cool God, like, she, she supported a nigga back in my Take Gutter days. Oh, yeah, Western yeah, Western Peace man. to the big homie Take know, Gutter. That man. was my first ever Salute. battle, man. Salute. But, yeah. When she first, that was the first time anybody really got to see me, like, because Akbar brought me. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, man, I, uh, Ray, man Britain, brother, uh, Ray Britain made a huge contribution to this rap thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This battle rap thing. A lot of these yeah. niggas is because of him. Yeah, yeah. But, I see like, that. yeah, he, uh, because I was looking, he was, shit, when I was rapping, he, you know, I was doing shows and shit, motherfuckers. Saw me doing comedy shows and shit, and they was telling me about this battle rap shit they had there, because they was doing sort of like, what Nick Cannon was doing, they called it Wild Out Wednesdays at Sash. Okay. And uh, motherfuckers had made that shit real big, and they rappers always would see me in the uh, the end round. They know if we down, it's over. We gonna win anyway, cause. Oh, okay. You know I'm gonna eliminate every one of y'all in this rap round. <laughs> it got to the point they started bringing comedians and shit from other cities, you know, that's like Chicago. Matter of fact, the biggest thing I ran about that bitch. Um, Remember Cat Williams had that that one uh, DVD where he went on the road with that bald head chick mm -hmm. and Red Grant, the light skinned mm -hmm. dude with the guy that I ran the fuck out of one sports lounge. Really? I was, I was roasting the fuck out of his ass. He trying to act like he was sick and, and went off the stage and shit. <laughs> they was like, yeah, that nigga was running. But that's yeah. how I really got put on the battle rap doing them shows. Motherfuckers was like, you should check out some of them local battle rappers or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. Britain brother twice. Oh, okay. And, and speaking, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, one, 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 one more time. Mm -hmm. And that's basically eat. You know, just to his brother, we start chopping it up more. Okay. He was like, yeah, come on over here, kill one of these guys. And they couldn't have been down at the barbershop. That was the day he battled me. Oh, okay. And that was my first battle. Okay, good. Cool, cool. Okay, man. Hey, Great Britain, man, you're doing a whole lot, man. Say mercy. That's what's up, man. No chill, no filter TV, man. We're going to have to link up, too. Um, <clears throat> speaking of which, man, with uh, Great Britain, I hear that he just booked you for one. Yeah. Who, who was that? You don't know? And I, what's I, crazy I is it. I started right, uh, Dynamite or something? Yeah, 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 there it is. There yeah, it is. Dynam Black Dynamite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You ready yeah. for it? Uh, bro, if I ain't, I will be. <laughs> That's what's up. No, but I did, uh, once he uh, told me, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. Um, uh, yeah, I broke out a couple lines or whatever. Okay. Okay. You know what? With me, man, I put it to you like this here. I got a whole lot of heroes here, man, as far as the battle rap thing is concerned. You know, everybody like, you know, I'm the OG, the big homie, the man to look up to. But I'm really loving you guys, man. You dudes is really doing a whole lot. And I like when, like, the out-of-town guys come in. Because now, it's hard to say, if you if you would like TV and battle, I would be able to say, I'm with this guy or that guy. Because both of y'all are <coughs> I'm, but I'm behind both of y'all 100%. You know what I'm saying? It, it'll be easier for me to say I'm with this guy if a dude from Canada came. You know what I'm saying? So now, okay, we Milltown up in here now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I Real mean, good. yeah, man. And I, 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 I like that, man, because you dudes is not no chumps, man. I, I love that. But see, I feel that y'all just kind of sharpening each other when y'all go against each other here in Milwaukee. Because y'all some cold cats, man. Y'all cold as hell when it comes down to this battle rap. And I love that, man. Especially to see two cold intellectual brothers go at it. And I feel that, you know, you would definitely have, Mike, Mike G would definitely be cut out for him. He'd have his work cut out for him, man, if he, if he came up against you. And I told him that. I told him that, like, man, just know that, you know, when you go up against that man, it's, it's going to definitely be, it's going to definitely be some drama. You know what I'm saying? Right. It ain't going to be as easy as people think it is. Exactly. And that's what everybody always be thinking, too. I tell niggas, like, yeah, it sound good till you got to stand in front of that motherfucker. Yeah, and this yeah. is what I also always tell anybody. If you watch anybody battles before they battle me, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not. Like, it, a motherfucker is not the same before they battle me. When I don't know what the fuck it is about me, but every time I battle a motherfucker, they try to come the hardest they have ever came. Or, and that's from in town, out of town. And that's what make me know that niggas that I battle, y'all sit around and watch my footage and y'all know. He ain't no, he, it's not nothing to be played with. Because all the way in, no, I'll say, take out a little day. Freestyle battles. 
I didn't write any of that shit. Really? Then because what ended up happening was we was partying, got drunk, and that shit just went out the window in my mind. Like, I don't know why it always happened like that, but I thought I had wrote some lines or whatever, but I'm thinking like that was kind of cheap in my mind because I'm used to the freestyle battles. Right, right. But then I found out that nigga was actually writing their material after Lil Dave. Uh, okay. Because, shout out to Lil Dave, Free Lil Dave, Case Low, Cartel. What's up? But I found that out um, because me and Dave had to talk like, hell no, these niggas gonna be freestyling. Half that shit I spit at you was for T. Lou. <laughs> Cause he had this battle T. Lou and fucked up. He choked this shit, forgot his shit. And he said half the shit I said to you was for T. Lou. And I'm like, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, okay. and that's when I was like, and from that moment on, I stopped freestyling. Like, and that kind of fucked me up too. That's when the couple chokes came in. Right. Because rather than just freestyling where I forget my shit at, I told myself I'm not freestyling no more. So it just like either remember this shit or choke. And I just was Fuck it up a little bit. For sure. But it's, yeah, after that, I started writing. Like, fuck that. And people was like, that's what was shocking to me for people to think that shit was actually dope. Like, I mean, that, I mean, it I, was, I saw but that. I, 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 to me, that, uh, but see, you gotta be your own worst critic, though. Otherwise, yeah, sure. you know what I mean? I, I personally hated that shit. I don't even watch it. I mean, honestly, I don't I, watch I, the, the Dute Gutter, the Lil Dave. I don't watch that shit. I love it. I mean, honestly, man, Everybody y'all got do, off. Dog, that shit but both of y'all got off, and you was like talking about taking his lunch and all. I mean, I'm just on some. Yeah, this dude, like, on, <laughs> this dude on some, like, man, oh, like, shit. yeah, that, that was. And that, that's one of those things where, you know what? Anybody can just come to a, 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 a battle event and, and, and spit in somebody's face. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it just, it takes that one person to really stand out amongst all these people. Mm -hmm. And you do that. And you, you know want to know saying? what was crazy? I said that to my brother Elroy before we went to the battle. I said, you know what? We just sat here and watched all of these niggas that's going to be here. And it was like, just, they all were up there just rapping. It was almost like the very early Smack DVD battles where niggas would be up there rapping about how much money they got, the uh, kind of cars yeah. they driving. Right. Like, and this nigga's a bum. And I, to me, I don't know how anybody else feel because any everybody wants to take credit for something. To me, I changed the way these niggas rap here, as far as battle rap. There wasn't any really personals like that right, until right. we take out a battle. Right, right. Once we take out a battle, niggas started getting real personal yeah, around this bitch. Yeah, man, yeah. It got definitely. to the point where I had to step it up, and I brung that, when I battled Herb, had that that board with pictures all over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit yeah, was I crazy. See what I mean? Like, I was just, and that's why me and Take Gunner was the first thousand view battle here. Mm, okay. And But to be fair, they had the shit everywhere. Right, right. It'll be one round of this battle on this page, and then round two on that page. Like it was uh, weird as shit. Yeah. So when I came and we were, and they barely had cameramen, so we was filming our own shit. Okay. I had okay. my own niggas in the background with my cameras and shit. Like me and Lil Day was, and uh, Take Gutter was on a flipping camera. Remember uh, them okay. joints? Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out, and that, and me and Take Gutter was the first battle to reach a thousand views. Right, right. Me okay. and Lil Day was the first battle to reach ten thousand views. Oh, okay, cool. And so cool. forth and so on. So um, you got music, right? Yeah, a lot of it. Okay, I mean, where can they find it? Catboy Hurt. Just look up Catboy Hurt. Catboy Hurt. Catboy Hurt. SoundCloud, YouTube, uh, mainly every social media except Facebook. Okay. But then again, I got a like page, Catboy Hurt, that I can't even control because they took my other thing. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Talk about Cinema IV. Oh, sit, sit, wow. Sit, sit nuts. <laughs> tell that nigga, Real, uh, tell that motherfucking Mark Zuckerberg send me some money. Fuck an ID. I you send him money. In shit. real What's life. Up? Like, what you need my ID for? That's right. crazy. Right. Talk about because we want people to identify by what they identify in, in real life. You won't even nah. find motherfuckers that barely know my Yeah, his name probably ain't Mark Zuckerberg. Hell yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> hey, hey, check this out, though. <laughs> this is what we going to do right here. Y'all done already heard what the man was what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I didn't ask him about his last battle because you know what? I'm really concerned about what this man got coming up. I ain't, you ain't, actually, you ain't, you ain't did nothing in a minute, is you? Yeah, I have. When, when the last time you Uh, a couple months ago in New York. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, because you was, you was gone yeah. out of town. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you caught yeah. another body? Bad one, too. <laughs> like, that shit was, nigga, that shit was horrible. He Did was they drop it? Nope. Ah, oh, because you, you smirked him too bad. Nah, it's something going on right now because it was 
super gigantic names that didn't drop yet too. On oh, the okay. Card. So cool. it's just something. It ain't got nothing to do with the with the people or the performances or it's the the cards. Oh, okay. It, it, it'll be coming out. It's just they slowly for but for sure to get the shit together. Cool. cool. All right. So y'all done already heard everything that there is to hear from this man right here. But I got one more question for him. It's a no chill, no filter question. And I know all y'all sitting up there looking at this vlog like, hey man, if he don't ask this man, he ain't a good host. Man, check this out. I need to know this, and I don't know if you done posted about it. I don't know if you done explained it, man, but I have to ask this question. No chill, no filter question of the day. Post to my man, Catboy Hurt. What's up with the hell? Bro, you wanna know what's crazy? <laughs> so like, last year sometime, Yeah. Familiarize me with Electronic dance. Oh, okay, okay. But, and that's what's crazy, like, they got people that do this shit, such DJs like a, a man named Decision, like one of the biggest EDM DJs in the world, man, from Canada. Okay. You don't even know who that man is, Adam from E, and he's selling out the Eagles ballroom two days in a row. Wow. And that's probably one of the smallest stadiums he play in. Okay. Around the world, he just started his own uh, festival, his music festival, Lost Land. Okay. And the first hour sold out pre-sale tickets, so ten thousand of them. Wow. In the first hour. Okay, that's pretty decent because I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. But you want to know why though? Because they outnumber us. White people, they uh, outnumber yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those. I'm, I'm color by. Right, right. I don't, my, my baby is black, Italian, and British, but... Okay. Speaking I just, of... I was just going to say, and, and once again, speaking of color, the hair. What was, oh, yeah, I'm going to get to it, <laughs> but look. So, people go to these music festivals, right? And they do all of this shit to stand out. Mm -hmm. So I was sitting talking to everyone one day, I was like, you know what? Okay. I cut the sides of my hair off and just let my hair grow. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? Again? Yeah, like I need to do something else to do here. Like I'm gonna die my shit. And I was like, alright, bet. First music festival we go to, we gonna die our shit. Okay. So we get ready to go to the Yeah. Like if you die your shit, I die mine. Blue, he was like, you gonna go purple. That's a friend of yours. So that's the reason why you dyed your hair because for the music festival. For the music you festival. Know what's crazy? What? Work. Huh? It worked. Oh, it worked. To stand out. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. So I mean, my group so went me. from like seven people to like 200 and some voluntary members. Oh, wow. From meeting them at like music festival. Music festival. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, is. That it? That's that's what happened. That was the whole story. Well, right as far there? as the hair, yeah, yeah. Oh, Basically, okay. and then because we went to Spring Awakening, that's why I just got dyed. Oh, okay. When we talked about doing it, we said we we're gonna go to the music festival. There is none in the winter type. Right, right, right. Unless you go to California or some shit, but when they they ask the nigga if he was gonna die and for real, I'm like, yeah, we're the first music festival like Spring Awakening. <laughs> right. So. Well, I know I hadn't seen you for a while, and then all of a sudden when I saw, caught up with you on Facebook, I didn't know who you was at first, right. but then, of course, you know, I never forget the face. And then I'm like, oh, oh man, is it blue? Or I said, what, the green? Yeah, I thought it, it was, was green. It was neon blue, but, you know, I didn't get that permanent shit, so I got semi-permanent. So when I started going swimming and shit, this shit started to change colors. Oh, okay. I cool. got bored to make it neon blue again. Just, oh, okay. So you're going to keep it that way? For a while. Okay. Then I'm going to cut it, maybe. 
I do business with Jamaica all the time. Sometimes I have braids and I have fades and I have throws. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, well, y'all, the mystery of the bluish, greenish hair is now no longer a mystery, no longer a secret. Um, with that being said, man, you got anything you want to say to anybody, man, before we wrap this up? Fuck, y'all. <laughs> Big rhyme, man. No chill, no filter TV. Ride the wave, big splash. You feel me? Oh. And like I said before, man, if you're in your feelings, you're gonna have to stay upset till next time. Hey, bitch.